back, man. Nigga, you got my back, man. Nigga, do you got my back, man? Yes, sir, I got your back, man. Nigga, you got my 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 back, man. Nigga,
into was Catholicism. And that image you're speaking of uh, was is pretty much the centerpiece of the Catholicism religion. Um, it seems like everything is surrounded by from this dude. So before I turn it over to you, mental, I usually um, catch people off guard when I ask. What do you think we're here for? And, you know, most of the answers I get are all over the board. But it's interesting when I say, um, we are here to love and be happy. And that's it. Uh, Where does that energy originate from? Inside the body. Uh, To be exact the heart and with that being said mental who is Jesus and who is Christ well first off you know we got to break down Jesus and then break down Christ and and in doing so we'll we'll find out how or what the two are. Then find out later on that they are two different beings, not this one entity, Jesus Christ, as if that's his first and last name. So. So wait, 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 wait. So you mean when people put, say, Jesus Christ, they're actually talking about two different entities exactly exactly they don't know that because of the 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 controlling that's been done to the brain that i give you good stories about this guy um say jesus and then christ now you're associating that as being his whole name and and you know we can go to a verse in, in the in the scriptures and it and it says you know hey don't walk in flesh walk in spirit um matter of fact i have a verse right here galatians 5 16. this i say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the flesh lust against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. But this image that we have of this guy, you know, most men have beards, mustaches, you know, hey, this guy's a flesh, this guy has flesh, this, this deity has flesh just like I do. But the book says don't walk in this flesh. Okay. Okay. So, so in all actuality, Jesus is just a man. Yeah, he did some great things. You know, he stood for for a lot of things, which in today's time we call those people activists. So, so Jesus was an activist as far as the man. Now Christ, that's 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 different. That's 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 the energy. That's the spirit. That's that that's that that drive in you. As you brought up earlier, the heart. Christ is also the heart. You know that 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 something that that you get when you're you're doing something good and it, and it feels good to get it to do it, and and you get rewarded you know everybody wants to be rewarded you know everybody wants that 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 pat on the back you know we we may pretend we're all hard you know but at the end of the day you know your heart is 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 your mask your heart is what you put out if you have nothing but evilness in your heart 
that's the mask you want to wear. You're going to treat people with 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 turmoil. You're going to torture them. You're going to 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 go out of your way in most in most cases to to make them suffer, so to speak. So, uh, when did the two names start to merge? Do you? I don't know about the time. But it was around when the the guy that, that is on that picture of Jesus, Caesar Borgia, um, he became the face of Jesus around Could that be around 1482, Da Vinci? Um right. <laughs> around then. His dad, Rodrigo Borgia, later became Pope Alexander the Sixth. And who the the guy who's in the pictures, dad became Pope. Yes. Wow. Became Pope, and and you know this one, the 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 Jesus story started to rise and become popular. And so, oh, wait, 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 wait. You said the Jesus story, all right? So right. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Was Christ around before Jesus? Christ has always been around. How so? The, the heart has always been around, right? The spirit has always been around, right? The, the the sun, the moon, the stars has always been around, right? Up until before they were made. Christ is 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 consciousness, intelligence. Christ is many things. The heart, the sun. Um, um, that 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 love, that 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 genuineness. So, but 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 Jesus, you know, like every other human being, has a physical mom and dad. Correct. So so. Wait, you said physical. I thought the dad wasn't physical. The body, Jesus. Remember, Jesus is just the man. But but his daddy was supposed to be uh, in the supposed to be virgin birth. It's a, hey, that's what it's supposed to be. But but you're saying he, a man. Mm -hmm. He was a carpenter, right? Right. Can a woman be a carpenter? Yes. Well, in today's society. Right. Can a blade of grass be a carpenter? No. So, so why am I comparing that to a flock or a blade of grass? Because though that man can go and do physical things with his hands, the same spirit, that same love, that same energy that can be in that man is in that blade of grass at all times. So the Christ spirit is in the blade of grass. Now, how do you know Christ has been around before Jesus? How do I know this? Yes. Christ, the Son of God, right? Yes. Let's change up a little spell. Let's play with the words real quick. They said the Son of God, right? But they changed up the spelling. They 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 turned it to the physical when they took it away from the spiritual. S U N is, is 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 the spiritual son of God, but when we get to talking about the S O N, 
he's no different than you and I. Now, he may have different skills. You have your skill, I have my skill, he has his skill. Through a, a, what they call immaculate conception. But was it your conception immaculate? It was perfect. That's what immaculate means. You said something the other day in your life. And, it, and, it, and it, 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 it hit me so hard that I've never heard that statement before. What do you see when you see a man? And most common answer is probably going to be a human being. But 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 you said, I think you got it from a movie or something. And you said, I see a successful sex. A successful what? Sex. No, no, you didn't say sex. You said fuck. Successful fuck. So so if it's successful, you know, your perception would will, will, will have you thinking of if it's perfect or not due to certain qualifications or standards, but if it's successful, especially when we're talking about bringing forth life, anybody can have an, a perfect conception. If she gets perfect, if she gets pregnant, it's successful. Then we can get on down the line. If it's, you know, she goes full term and be able to have the baby. But the conception itself, successful, perfect. Well, timing does have to be perfect. I mean, uh, with the egg being fertilized and all that stuff, because if it's not in the right time of fertilization and all that, it's not, it's not happening. Exactly. So, you know, look at words today as 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 just communication tools without going deep into it immaculate just means perfect conception you know um getting it the the, the, the receptive end of it um but we look at it as being being a miracle, so to speak. And so, so, which is the, the understanding has to be there before we move any further on anything. We have to understand what we're dealing with, who we're dealing with, and how to deal with it on all ends. And so, We should always follow Christ, the sun, the moon, the stars, life. It may come through physical man. So is, I have a question. Go ahead, sir. Christ just doesn't apply to Catholicism? Or is Christ apply to Muslim, Hinduism, and all of that stuff? Maybe not the name itself, the word itself, Christ, but what Christ stands for, yes. Speaking of Christ, um, one of the biggest symbols in Catholicism is the cross. Mm -hmm. um, one of the first things that um, stood out to me was your interpretation of the cross and you had um, a different picture of the cross <laughs> that I once, I've ever seen. You remember this picture? 
I remember the picture. Um, I share my screen so so you can see it. So you know, and and the cross the cross itself has has many symbolic meanings behind it. Right here, it symbolizes you know with his 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 home going. And over here, this cross here, it, it symbolizes the, the crossing of night and day. Now, this cross here is it, symbolic to your, 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 your clavicle, not your clavicle, this right here is your clavicle. And your, your, your cervical spine. The, so the C1 through C7 at the top. So wait a minute. Where did the picture on the left come from? This was a time around the the, the people that, that that they call the Mayans. Mm. But that information was around long before them. So the picture on the left with the cross uh, uh, that looked like a, a dude carrying a cross... That's Mayan term art? Yes. All right. And this is Christ. This here is Jesus, a man, a fleshly dude. You can't really make out what it is if you don't just, the image on the left, unless you just look at the, the what looks like hairs around the mouth. And and it's a it's 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 symbolic for for the heart, symbolic for the 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 crossing of night and day, the symbolic for the moon, symbolic for the the the, the sky, the stars in the sky, the, the the actual sun, the sun rays, the 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 feet representing the you know your your putting your right foot forward. As you can see, he's looking to the right, righteously. You know, all of these, all of these terms we use today has symbolic meaning behind them. We just absent-mindedly use these words because it's what we were taught. So are you telling me that uh, there was a word that you kept using uh, as you was describing that picture? It was symbolic symbolic yes um so are you telling me that uh if you do not know symbols you're missing what is being said and said picture correct and other images as well and other images as well yes yes and 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 we we look at the picture as as they call for face value. You know we don't we don't we rarely go deeper. You know the phrase a picture is worth a thousand words is not around just to be cute. It really means that. As in, there's a thousand words in one picture, if not more. And in a lot of cases, more. A thousand just was a, you know, a, a, a metaphor as they like to use to, to say a lot. You can get a lot from, from one picture. All right. So looking at the picture on the left. Right. I see one red, um, like, and one white as far as uh, the cross. What's that? Okay, now, now the wow. red, yeah. the the red part of the cross is is symbolic to the 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 sky, the daytime sky, as spirit see it, as in as as the spirit world. So once once you use your spiritual eye, the daytime sky is is no longer blue. It's it's an orangish 
reddish color as you see here when you use your spiritual eye exactly what is a spiritual eye a lot of people call it the third eye it's okay. it's you know um when your your two physical eyes come together is is that why this picture only has one eye yes sir it is is that the evil eye or oh, what will the evil eye become the evil eye yeah you know uh I don't know if you know, uh, you might not know that it's the evil eye people. I actually have a shirt I made with the evil eye. Mm. With the blue eye, iris, and and all of that. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to ward off evil or something like that. Okay, okay. I'm I've, 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 um, not familiar with that. All right. Um, I see one side of his face is red and the other side is dark or what would you say, black? Uh, gray, bluish, greenish, blackish. Um, it's that shade. It's it's that shade now. That dark shade is is the nighttime sky. Okay, and the pearls going across the 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 chest yeah. is is the nighttime sky carrying the stars. Okay. The, the 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 face the the lower part of the face it, it, and you see it, it's kind of uh like a like a c shape um that's symbolic to the moon this is the phase of the moon the in its crescent moon phase and the white part of the cross is also the moon which is also symbolic to, to what this being is carrying. So the red is spiritual and the white is the moon? Yes. On the cross? Well, well it's all spiritual because this is Christ. Christ is a spirit. Yes, yes, it's, yes. It's, well, I'm, no, I mean, the, I meant the white, the white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white is the moon and the red is the sky. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, I noticed at each end of the uh, cross, they have a footprint. Why a footprint? Um, you know, your, your feet nailed to the cross. Feet and hand nailed to the cross. What 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 is that symbolic of Jesus being nailed to the cross by the uh, Romans? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, both. That's that's what, where what, that's. What did it mean to the mind? You, you know. walk in your own path carry him each each man and woman should bear their own cross mm. Mm. all right um i noticed it has like a three feather in the circle at the top of the hat and it's okay any meaning to that it is it's 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 the heart it's what your actual heart looks like. Give me one second. Wait, you know what I'm talking about? I see what you're talking about up here at the top. Yes. Right. So, so, this here is, is, is the A order. See how you have this curve right here? Yes. And a heart. And you got this curve right here. Also right here. Same thing, just blown up right here. You have these three here. You have these three valves here. And you're in your in your aorta. And so so it's it's now the, and they're speaking about the heart here. It's it's you you how are you treating the people? Are you are you are you, are you really that 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 Christ like 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 you portray to be? Are you really carrying that Christ energy like like you say you are? Are are you really bearing your own cross by by being accountable for the things that you do? Are you are you truly walking in the footsteps, putting your right foot forward? 
walking in the spirit like 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 the creator wants you to like 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 as 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 the church community says as god wants you to you know it's it's a lot of people that that do not believe in that concept of god that is more christian than these christians out here and it's in it's in it's it's not fair to to the people that that really have values principles and morals on why they do or do not believe in a, in in god you know that, I gotta, that, that, can i ask a question yeah go ahead if you take a bigger picture approach of the head you see um the whole head with the the headdress and all that with the three things at the a order at the top uh-huh that right there would be this over here yeah i was about to say and you see the mm -hmm. the two little things mm -hmm. coming from the side and the big thing mm -hmm. coming down would would, right. would that be the that blue line coming out is that whole thing the heart this whole headdress that's what i was trying to yeah. get the, the whole headdress is the heart. is the heart yes now with that being said that's what I was sitting up here wondering. And yeah. being that you said this is the, uh, would be considered the Mayan time? Around that case, you know, Aztec, okay. you know, who, okay. whoever, you okay. know. I've seen movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just to play a little devil's advocate, um, do we say they know so much about the heart because they were doing human sacrifices and, and Human wasn't wasn't exactly. some of them people like biting the heart or something, like cutting hearts out of virgins and holding it up for rituals and stuff like that? No, that's 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 that 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 was that was that's false. No, no, these these beings they they were you can say experimenting for for today's term. But it wasn't experimenting as as. But they weren't doing know, human sacrifices. No, it was. I mean, not not killing somebody for for the love of their god. No. All no, right. No. Well, I mean, you know, I'll just the yeah, yeah. I, I'll, 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 I mean, because somebody might be saying, "Who are these people to tell us about Christ?" And they sitting up here doing sacrificing people. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and that's the, the the misunderstanding of who these people are. Well, that's why I asked the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of people won't even ask the question. They'll just go off with their own understanding of of, of some shit that, that they don't even really know about. Instead of, you know, asking people of that particular group or or at least some, some people that study that particular group. Mm. I have one more observation of that picture. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. I noticed not not just not the hand placement, but the, mm -hmm. how his hands are. Uh -huh. One pointing down and one like uh, with his palm upward. Mm -hmm. Any meaning to that? Um, well, him pointing is 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 showing you that that you're starting off on the left foot. Okay, is there's there's a symbolic meaning even behind righteous. Um, we we spelled it we it, it spelled different. Um, um, starting off on the left foot, then then that's what he's pointing at. You started. Mm -hmm. And, and and the palm is opening up to you putting your right foot forward. As you can see, the one at the bottom is your left foot. And the one up at the top is your right foot. And also going deeper into the footprint, you can also see when you start using both sides of your brain back and forth, using that your spiritual eye, using, using the eye in the way that we were not programmed to use. It. You can see that these are also sevens. Seven, oh, seven. seven. 
the number mm-hmm. seven. Yeah. All and right. What would the seven be symbolic of? Many things, man. I mean, shoot. Well, uh, well, me, Paul, the astrologer, putting the astrologer hat on would be the seven planets. See. And uh, Paul, the philosopher, would say the seven deadly sins, the seven virtues, um, mm-hmm. everything seven. Uh, and 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 none of that that what you just stated is incorrect. Yes. Um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Could that hand placement be as above, so below? See, many, many symbolic meanings behind it. I mean, if we take that, if we was to go and, and name each symbolic meaning behind each thing on here, man, we, we'll talk to, to, to our tongue fall out our head. It's it's so many, you know, so many symbolic means at, as above, so below. Oh, what man. happens up happens down. What goes up must come down. I mean, so much. Hmm. And with the footprints, uh, we are trying to rise above. Uh, we we went down to earth. Now we're trying to walk it, back up. It, hey, that's, yes, up. Up, right, up, right. That's what walking upright is. All right. Any meaning to uh, the the belt tied around is that's 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 the moon also. Why did do you know why they paid so much? homage to the moon um not only the moon the sun also all right um and the stars as well um but, that's your uh, spiritual the majority, moment. but the majority of the stuff you pointed out kind of went toward the moon yeah yeah know. yeah um um the the moon well, she's our spiritual mom. You know, every being in existence. Now, whatever body they end up in, that's 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 on that's on them. But on that spiritual side, yeah, yeah, that's 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 that's, that's Mama Bell. And and the son, that's that's Papa Bell. You know, they they they, they told us the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in, the, in 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 those teachings. They left mama out. You can't get the child without the mom and the dad, without the mom and the father, without him and her. Let us make mankind in our image. Well, what does the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit mean to you? The, the the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that's just a bunch of masculine energy running around to me. Okay, well then, let me rephrase the question. <laughs> Missed the words, man. I forgot <laughs> who I'm playing with. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Holy Trinity to you? The Son the moon and the child the star the star the star the sun the moon the star what what was this what would the star be the children of the sun and the moon well we are star children we are stars all are children of the sun and moon on the physical, I mean, on the spiritual aspect of us. Mm. This body is temporary. The body doesn't even belong to you. You're renting it. I know I said I try to keep, um, here's a, I didn't say try to, uh, here's a thought why the moon is 
so uh, fully represented. Um, the moon is like a satellite, which may be because it's it physically it's the closest to the planet, right? Right? You agree with that? Physically? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, as far as the planets because I was concerned, yeah, the moon yeah. is physically the closest, right? Yeah. You agree with that? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all will see later on. It's, it's <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to, you got to watch when you're talking to <laughs> Mr. Mental over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh with that being said with the moon being the physical uh closest to the sun it's also the uh dispenser of planetary energy as in everything is filtered through the moon because it is the fastest moving uh planet and you know what i'm saying going through every sign. Yeah. All, uh, every sign, uh, every month. And the, and the, uh, female cycle is the cycle of the moon. So, That may be why they have so much reverence in in the moon in this picture. Just a theory. Yeah. I mean, you know, but we, but we but, we like theories on this on brain repair. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, what's what's this picture up here on the right? This picture. So if for, for for those that that want to say, well, hey, that is a man. How can it, you know, that's a man. How you know, uh, walking in spirit and and not the flesh, but that's the man. Okay. So here's a female image of Christ also. This is the She's same the, people in same time period. Yes. Okay. Yes. She, she has her hands and feet nailed to the cross also. She, she's bearing her cross also. Um, she, uh, but the feet are walking in different directions. Mm, notice that. Yes, I do. Notice that. What you said about the moon earlier, the dispenser, right? Yes. So, so what do you what what is dispensing? You you you're giving and getting away, right? Yes. You 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 are walking away. You're going away from the dispensary once you get it. All right. Like I like I go to the liquor store, I buy my liquor, and now I'm walking. Yeah. Out. And now you're walking out. You 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 don't. You, it's still the 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 sun and the and the, the moon. In the in the, the clouds, in the in the the, the 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 stars, it's it's just female with the body actually giving out the different spirits, giving out the the different bodies, the different eggs. As we can see here, the the, the skull. That that's that's the moon hanging down. The skull is the moon. The skull is the moon. How do you know that? If you used to go outside and you was to look at the moon, you would see different shadows. Well, these different shadows is the shadows you see in the moon. All right. And, and as you can see, it's if we look in the sky, the moon also looked like it's facing a certain direction. 
but this moon is facing a certain direction you know regardless of the 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 the, the connection from the cross from the sky hanging from the sky because the 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 moon goes through different mood swings we call them phases just like our female do All right. you know? so so moon is 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 going somewhere to drop this off to drop this off to drop this off to drop this off everything is getting dropped off in different spaces you you you, you call it the dispensary i like that there's there's no arguing with that except for the way you spell it you know but but other than that <laughs> <laughs> how would you spell it uh, um first i wouldn't use the word this or die so we're going to take that away just a spensary so spell it uh, S P E N S O C R Y. Let's see what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. The guy with the funny spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Good. go ahead. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that's just the, the the female version of Christ doing the same thing a male version of Christ would do. All right, I have a question. Is that like a a, a donkey in a snake head or, or something? Well, right here. Yeah. Um, this is is a rabbit. This is a jaguar. This is a dragon. This is an egg. Everything comes from an egg. You know, uh, the cosmic egg that, you know, some studies may say, you know. Um, Any significance of the animals? Uh, the no, animals, no. The rabbit? No, no, no just, just different, different bodies. It's just symbolizing the, 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 the her dropping off the spirit in different bodies. That's all. Mm. So, like dropping some, dropping the spirit off in a in a rabbit, in a yep, exactly, and a cheetah, you know. Yep. What, what what's the other one? Uh, what's the this rabbit? is a, a, a dragon. A oh, dragon. Yep. So you know they, you know, the the spirit that was going around the the earth back in. In, in these times and even before these times is not of the spirit that's walking around today. I have a question. Could that also be the four elements? Sure. Being sure dragon, is. dragon, fire breathing dragon, the the cheetah could represent, you know, air for speed. Um, the egg could be like water being that the spirit and, you know, and then the rabbit could be earth now 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 look at what you're doing you're look you're using that that spiritual eye you know you're you're you you are getting getting things that's that's speaking to you from this image that i haven't said so so you know that that spirit still lives you know it, it's it's just not more exposed as as that other spirit that tells us to do to to you, we have to go to church in order to believe in god and to get oh. into heaven oh that spirit you speak of is the christ spirit mm, exactly oh. so so you know and and when it comes to these you know these these individuals that 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 created these images i don't i don't i don't accept everybody's information on you know cuz they 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 disrespect the ancestors on a, a totally different level so 
you know, if one is able to look up these images and and read the story that they said about these people because they had an agenda to push, it's not going to match up. Oh, with the information you're providing today. Exactly. Now, I'm just, you know, there's information out here on these, on these, on this civilization, but you know, they, they, they started out wrong from the beginning with me with just with the name. And big picture, um, with both um side by side, it could it's the masculine and feminine energy. Maya, you know, all creation comes out of. Mm-hmm. You can't well, have the masculine without the f- feminine, right? Exactly. Or you can't have the feminine without the masculine. It's both ways. You know, it's multiverse. You well, know, I, you you know, know. I switched it around for the females. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know and and you know when it when it comes to to the female, especially in religion, you know, with the 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 individual that that pushes all hell masculinity, you know, they, they took the female out of everything. Hmm. You know, everything. She has to behave this way. You know, if she has questions, she has to wait till after church. Yeah. If she wants to do anything, she has to do it and ask it and and, and do it and, and whatever else behind closed doors. Why? You know, it, we, you know. So when when you go back into ancient civilizations, you know, everybody was honored. The lady just as well as the men, and vice versa, just as well as the the sun, moon, and stars, and your predecessors. Do you have another picture to share? It's, it's just another image of 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 some symbology for the heart you know your third eye that they call your third eye you know that's what your heart really is it's actually the zero eye but you know watered down culture has you know filtered a lot of information and it has blurred a lot of visions you know as you can see we we can go we we we, we can go through a, a bunch of ancient artifacts and and civilization and cultures and you know they, it's always the 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 sun moon and stars and and your eye which is the heart you know we we we, we moved the third eye we even gave it a, a number that comes after zero and and say that this number that's after zero is the most powerful eye that you have but it's it's third place though, like you know, it, it it does not go together. You know, we 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 speak on the heart a lot. Your 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 emotions, your 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 feelings. Whether you want to do something, what they call good or bad. You know, it all it all starts right here in the heart. And so now people know why in the beginning when I started talking about the, I brought up the heart. Now you kind of seeing why I mentioned it in the beginning. So I have a question for you. Yes. What, when you told me Jesus versus Christ and now that you showed me these pictures and broke it all down, what does that actually mean? Who is Jesus and who is Christ? Jesus was an activist that was a carpenter. Just another guy who did some great things. Living as Christ, the heart. At, at, at one of its most purest form, which is where we need to be. It don't mean we 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 don't we don't supposed to fight for what's right for a good cause, not just out here being bullies. 
because we have a high fancy title, you know, that means nothing if your heart, that Christ energy ain't the, if your heart ain't righteous, is it <laughs> right chest? You, you, yeah. you, you're missing the whole picture of walking righteous. Do you think Jesus, the man, actually worked, walked the earth? Not that character right there per se, but there's plenty of. Wait, wait, that okay. I sh maybe I should have. <laughs> no, uh, I ain't letting you get away with that. Uh, I forgot who I'm talking about. <laughs> the biblical Jesus. Did he walk the earth? No. All right. So when you say, are you saying, when you say Jesus versus Christ, are you saying Christ is not that biblical Jesus? Exactly, yes. And furthermore, with that, the biblical Jesus as you know it, finish my statement. Is not true. As in? the actual being walking the earth. So there was no ever a virgin birth? No. In your eyes? In According to, yes, in my eyes, yes. All right. I actually agree with you. Um, the Christ you are speaking of is in the Jesus versus Jesus is actually Christ versus a made up uh, cartoon, lack of a better word, made up cartoon version that was made up at the nice little kind of scene by the emperor, you know, trying to consolidate. It, uh, it was more of political about politics and he was trying to consolidate power and some of that had to do with coming up under one flag. And and if, if you dig it down deeper into a lot of stuff, JC, Jesus Christ, was that Julius Caesar? Mm -hmm. Same thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, uh, yeah. And to further that, with that being said, um, you were saying that we are um, what? The stars, the moon, and all of that, right? Right. And going to, I was saying, hidden signal, hidden symbols, and all of that. Well, if you pull up a picture, just Google Leonardo's Last Supper picture. Uh, you all have seen it. Mm. If you don't know symbology, you don't know what's going on in this picture. And we all think this picture is just what we're told. Picture. We're told it's what? Just the picture of the Last Supper. Jesus at the Last Supper with his 12 disciples. Uh, but if you don't know symbology, you are missing the meaning. So um, all of these people way back in the days, ancient Ra, if you know meanings of words, Ra, all of that means the sun, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's many meanings of that and if you don't know that uh, you need to find it out and um, the sun the giver of life because without the sun 
We all gone. All right. Yes. With that being said, if you look at this picture and you know, and now I'm bringing up astrology, um, and I, it's called hidden in plain sight. Now, if you 12 disciples, 12 signs, um, and it all begins with Aries, which is the guy all the way at the left end of the table at the left. He be, it's the beginning of the table. Uh, he's big and burly and he, you know, like a Aries the Ram. The very next sign is Taurus. Taurus rules the throat and shoulders. And if you look at the second guy, he has one hand on one shoulder. He has of the guy next to him and he has another hand touching the shoulder of the guy next of the next to the third guy, right? Let me see. See? Yep. See this hand here? This hand here. Now, the very next guy is Gemini. Gemini is the twins. And you see this guy holding up two hands. One hand, one hand, two. What is somebody standing behind him saying, stick him up? Why does he have two hands sticking up? The very next guy is Cancer. Cancer, the crab. The symbol of Cancer is the crab. If you look at the fourth guy, his arm is bent real funny. And if you zoom in, he has a knife in his hand like a claw. His arm is bent like a crab claw. The very next sign is Leo. Leo is the lion and Leo is ruled by the sun and Leo is the boss, you know? Uh, and, and so everybody knows that it's rude to put your elbows on a table. Who can, who can put their elbows on a table? Who are the owner of the table is my house. So this guy, he has one elbow on a table, but if you zoom in on his left hand, you can see it's a crab, a uh, lion claw. He's making a claw lion. The very next person, um, you see the fourth guy pointing at the neck. Um, why would this person be pointing at the neck? This person is letting you know that's a female. The very next sign after Leo is Virgo. Virgo, the virgin, a female. No Adam's apple. Look, no Adam's apple. The very next, then you have Jesus in the middle of the picture. Then you have the very next sign after Virgo is Libra. Libra sign is the scales. If you look at this guy, he has one hand out that way. He has another arm going out with the old school scale, triple beam, you know, mm -hmm. old school scale. What, what is he doing? Holding these other people back from attacking Jesus? They, it's supposed to be the 12 disciples. Uh, wait, before that, getting back, if it's the 12 disciples, what's a female doing in that picture? <laughs> Mary wasn't a disciple, was she? Don't think she was. Man, uh, going back so that you got Libra and you got Libra the scales. The very next sign after Libra is Scorpio. Scorpio, the sign for Scorpio is the scorpion. And on a scorpion's tail is a point. Um, if you look at the next guy after Libra, he has one finger up. What is he telling Jesus? We're number one. What, what is he? at this point um the very next sign after Sagittarius is the very next sign after Scorpio is Sagittarius Sagittarius is sign is the arrow the arrow means aim for the heart if you look at this guy after Scorpio he has both two hands and where they're pointed at mental to his heart aim for the heart um the very next sign after Sagittarius is Capricorn Capricorn's glyph, astrology glyph, is a backward six. If you look at this guy, he's looking this way, mental, but where's his hands pointing? Backwards. 
Capricorn, the backward six. The very next sign after Capricorn is Aquarius. Aquarius sign is the water bearer. All right. And if you look at this guy's hands, you see one hand down here, one hand up here. Doesn't it look like he could be holding a jug of water, mm -hmm. pouring the water out? And the very last sign is Pisces. Pisces is represented by the two fish. And Pisces is the last sign. You see, he's at the end of the table and he has two hands out. The fish. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the picture as a whole, right? Um, um, you can see they're in groups of threes, right? Three, 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 right? What are we looking at? Are we looking at spring, summer, fall, winter? What is this? Jesus symbolized. You see he has uh, red and with that blue on, a dark color on, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's in between Virgo and Libra, uh, the the uh, which is the solstice, September twenty second. You know what I'm saying? Equal day, equal night. Equal day, equal night. You know, this is the half of halfway point of the year. Six over here, six over here. You know the and so what are we looking at? We looking at the S U N of God dining through the zodiac as he moves through the zodiac. You you notice how how like you were saying his 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 attire is that orangish and that greenish bluish colors. Yes, isn't that the same color on the cross? Cross? Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Even even look down here. The the four legs on the table. Look. Four. Four seasons. Boom. 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 Yes. So, you know, uh, why do I, I've been looking at that picture, uh, going to a Catholic school all my life and all that. I've been looking at that picture my whole life. I thought that was uh, God's son sitting up there with 12 guys yeah. <laughs> uh, having his last meal, like, you know, someone on death row, you know, how they come and ask you, hey, sir. What what would you like to well, have yeah, for yeah, your yeah. last meal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know that's what I thought that picture was. So, with that being said, um, I, I can separate Christ from Jesus. Hopefully everybody else can and also without taking it personal, just getting to the nitty gritty. What do you mean by not taking it personal? Um, don't feel like it's an attack with them. Not asking them to to, you know, involve their emotions as far as, you know, as an attack. It's not an attack. What is it? The, the them separating Christ and Jesus. No, if it's not an attack, what is? Oh, it? if it's not an attack, it's it's repairing the brain. It's it's giving giving the actuals about what's going on through the images and the stories that we were told. All right, all right. 
in it. So, uh, before we close out, is there any things that anything that you want to make sure you want to get out or say? Um, I'm, uh, thank you for having me on here, man. Um, can't wait to come back, chop it up some more. What you mean can't come wait right to come back to your own show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come back is there a way people can get in touch with you or, or are you ready for people to get in touch with you uh, or are, are you I'm only social media I'm on right now is is Facebook um Sebastian Bradley um S E B A S T I A N Bradley with the Y all right so um what should people expect out of you um, a lot mean? of symbology, a lot of symbology. Um, getting into spells, the language, um, the the way these words are spelled, um, the 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 audio and the the the, the visual part of 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 the language. The, the English language in particular. And um just we, we can expect some 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 off some not popular topics to go down over here. So this show is not for the fan of heart. Oh it's not at all. It's all not right. At all. It's not at all. All right. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining us for the first episode of Brain Repair with Mental Reset and me, Paul P. Dunn. Uh, and hopefully y'all will join us for future episodes. Uh, thank you. And you know how I, in the, anything I say, know that self and balance your energy. Uh-huh. Yeah, you good. Nigga, niggas on wiggle, ooh, chicka, addle, bigger, e, nigga. All you get, niggas, niggas, I, nigga, Eddie, rigger. Real. Uh, uh. Cherokee, the loudest one, y'all play with guns and rap for fun, y'all act to stun me and my nigga Franco got the fattest ones. Hit the beat, you hit the streets, I got the rhymes, you can't compete. You looking for me, y'all niggas see, y'all know where the fuck my niggas be. High as hell, down that swell, chillin' in the ATL, oh well. Jigga wanna lock me up, got two girls coming through. Post and bell back on the streets, got a pat the heat. Play haters always after me, gotta watch them back, that's a given fact. Y'all know how niggas wanna play your act, they wanna jack, they come and pack. They see your shit and know you're fat. Free friends said that they got your back, that's bullshit, I'm not having that. Gotta be prepared when the world come here, I trust the God, I have no fear, just tell some shit, you get killed. And the nigga with you should leave a will. Nigga, you got my back, Jerry, I got your back, man. Nigga, you got my back, Jerry, I got your back, man. Nigga, do you got my back, man? Yes, sir, I got your back.